cataractcoach.com, lens punctured during vitrectomy. So how will you safely address this iatrogenic complication here? Tough case here. Patient had a prior partial plane of vitrectomy, and you can see the damage to the crystal lens. So the posterior capsule was punctured, maybe even at the lens equator. So first thing is doing another partial plane of vitrectomy, three ports, using the vitrector just to remove the lens. So again, going in from the back surface, going through the posterior capsule, and you remove the lens material completely in this manner. Now, not a very dense lens. So the patient's probably on a little bit on the younger side. Looks like some dark eyelashes too, so probably a younger patient. And removing the entire crystalline lens here. Now, the question is, what should you do? Can you keep at least the anterior capsule intact, then get some sort of capsulotomy, and then maybe put a three-piece lens in with haptics and the sulcus as an optic capture? That'd be a great option. So my advice here is not to remove the entirety of the lens capsule. Leave the anterior lens capsule intact. So you can get an anterior capsulotomy or whatever, you capsule rex if you, if you try. But I think just using the vitrector to do an anterior capsulotomy would be great because that's a very good, strong support. And that'd be a better option than doing something like a Yamane. So again, removing that lens material here in its entirety. And again, the anterior capsule looks like it's still pretty much intact. So I'm watching this video for the first time with you. We're going to enjoy it together. And so now getting that last bit of like lens material there. And you definitely want to get that sulcus lens. It looks like the anterior capsule is still intact. Maybe we get an opening there, an anterior capsulotomy, and then get that capture of the optic. So haptics and the sulcus is my guess. And then optic captured through an anterior capsulotomy. There you go. It looks like using the vitrector now to create an anterior capsulotomy. So you don't need to do a rex, you just use the vitrector. And just make sure you get it to an appropriate size, about 5 millimeters, and make sure there are no edges that want to run out on you. And that looks pretty good. Did I tell you about cataractcoach.com, our favorite website? The search engine is so much better there than on YouTube here. So please do not email me asking for videos unless you've already searched Cataract Coach. All right? Hey, check out our podcast. So now, there's the incision for the eye well up. There's the three-piece lens. Remember the 7L rule. First haptic better look like a number 7. Trailing haptic like a letter L. There's the 7 coming in. Beautiful. Get that in the sulcus. Nicely done. Now the optic comes out. Get that optic placed very nicely, gently, appropriately, beautiful. And then get that trailing haptic. So yeah, this will be a beautiful outcome for the patient. Very nice technique of inserting the lens. Notice how the surgeon had to rotate the Iowa cartridge, rotate the injector to get the appropriate positioning of the lens. And then there's that trailing haptic. 7L rule is in effect. I like it. And there it is. Now can you get an optic capture behind the capsulotomy? Just be careful because it's not a, a capsular rexus. This capsulotomy can run out a little bit. But that's a pretty good capture. I like it. That's a nice position. There you go. There it is behind the capsulotomy edge. Haptics definitely in the sulcus. This is going to be a nice, happy patient here. All right. And I like the choice of the monofocal lens, the three-piece, obviously, for the sulcus. Let's get the incisions all sealed up. Now, if the patient was an emetrope of the other eye and, let's say, age 50 or more, yeah, I think emetrope or planos would be, a, would be a good refractive outcome for the patient because, of course, with the other eye being 50 years old and fake, it still probably needs glasses for reading or up-close work. So now just a little bit more checking here out in the, in the posterior segment. Looks pretty good. And not sure what the indication was for the patient's first vitrectomy, but some, some laser spots there, some laser out in the periphery. So... Looks like maybe an attachment or something else. Anyway, so nice looking case here. Surgeon said patient did very well. And that's how you manage this iatrogenic complication. Thanks for watching. Again, be sure to check out our Cataract Coach website. Free daily email, the free PDF book, free cur curriculum series, and definitely that podcast. And hey, follow me on social media.